everybody, welcome back to the OTH vlog and happy Friday to all of you. Hope you all had a great week and hope you're about to have a great weekend. Today's topic is gonna be something kind of fun, just diving into a bit of understanding kite brands and what they mean beyond the equipment. So we're all familiar with all the countless kite brands there are out there, whether it's Duotone, Cabrina, Nash, F1, Slingshot, uh, the list goes on and on. There's so many, it's, it's kind of crazy and overwhelming, but it is kind of funny that over time people start to get these strong connections to these brands and what that really means. And what I've kind of found is uh, through my own experiences and through uh, teaching and remembering when I first started learning is a lot of the time you get uh, introduced to a brand through your first lesson. That's pretty much it. Sometimes you'll have people who come into the lesson and watch a little bit of stuff and they've seen videos of other branded videos <clears throat> and that's kind of how they get attached to a brand. But what I've found a lot of times is for the first time someone touches a kite and they're like, oh, this is it. And then they kind of, over the years of kiting, start to find more and more through demos and through under, uh, meeting new people and uh, trying other stuff. But um, one of the interesting things, like when I first started, I was uh, on a switchblade. Everyone's probably tried a switchblade, and that was the thing that I was into. But over the years, I got introduced to a certain brands that I've been stuck with. And the brand isn't something, it's not like you're addicted to the name. And we'll get to that here in a second, because you all probably know the story with this. But uh, it's, it's beyond that. It's, it's also kind of a bit beyond the equipment. And here's what I'm getting at. So back in 2012, I came aboard with Duotone, formerly North Kiteboarding. And it was kind of funny because at the time I remembered I wanted to uh, uh, ride Airrush kites. I was all about Airrush at the time. And I thought like the lithium was so sick. I was like, oh, that's such a sick kite. I want to get there uh, stuff. And like kind of same time frame, I was introduced to um, Dan Schwartz from uh, then North Kiteboarding, now Duotone. And I remember just meeting him and they, I was working for Kite Safari and they wanted me to go and do like the, one of the dealer meetings up there. It was like one of the, the kind of first ones and uh, got to hang out with him up there. And it was just this awesome time and experience of getting to be with this gear and all these people associated with the brand. And it kind of made the connection there. And what I started to find as I spent more time with the equipment I love and still do, it's, you know, it, I think, is the best equipment out there without even trying to be biased. I've, I've ridden other stuff, but this stuff, every time I ride it, it's always great. But beyond the equipment is the people associated with it. So as everyone probably knows by now is that uh, two years ago, there was a whole name change from North Kiteboarding to Duotone Kiteboarding. And I remember finding out about that and it was all confused like, oh man, what's that gonna mean for all the stuff and everything. And as I went to the meetings uh, to f get a little bit more involved with finding out what was happening, it was kind of interesting seeing that what was built up came from the people and the product, but more so the people involved with the brand. It wasn't necessarily uh, like everyone was going for North Kiteboarding for the name, it was something beyond that. And what I found is I was like addicted to the, the group and the camaraderie that came with that brand. And that's what really set it off. So kind of an interesting story is the year that we found out, I was up in Pismo doing the demo event. Now it was Duotone instead of North. And everybody was coming up and asking questions. And I had one guy that comes out every year and uh, he was kind of playing a little bit of the devil's advocate. He's like, oh, it's not gonna last. Everyone's gonna go for the new North kiteboarding. It's gonna go for the brand and all that. And he's kind of jabbing at me a little bit. And he, we were having some fun with it, but it was kind of interesting because that whole night he was like, well, if you really think about it, it's all about the name, it's all about the name. And the next morning I was really thinking like, it's not about the name, it's about the experiences with the brand and the people and the product. And I, uh, next day, because we, we were saying he had this North hat that I gave him the year prior, the whole night he's like, see, this is what it's all about. So I had a bunch of swag with me, and the next morning when we were all sitting around there, I walked up to him with a brand new Duotone hoodie and brand new Duotone hat, and I walked up and I handed it to him, and I said, it's not about the name on the shirt, it's about the people behind it. And I really believe that. And lo and behold, he went out and bought a whole quiver of uh, Duotone stuff immediately after. He got rid of all his North things. But it, it's, again, it's not about the buying. It's, it's about the uh, the group of people associated with it and i've been lucky to be involved with this brand 
and make so many awesome friends that I'll have for the rest of my life and that I've gotten to know and have so many amazing times with beyond kiting. And I think that's what makes uh, some kite brands really special. It's not the time on the water necessarily, it's the time spent off the water and the people that you're with and having a great time. And that's what makes a kiteboarding brand so awesome. It's the lifestyle. It's the lifestyle that comes along with it and building that lifestyle comes from having great people involved with it. And if you go to any of our events, you'll definitely, you'll see us. We, we like to uh, have a good time and make sure everyone else is having a good time. And that's what makes being a part of this brand so amazing and being a part of your own brand, whatever brand it might be. I, I know I'm, I'm blowing my horn a lot about these guys. And it, again, it's really not even because of the fact I really love everything involved with these guys, but it might be F1 for you. It might be Cabrina for you. It might be Slingshot. It might be Blade. It might be any of those other brands that makes you feel this awesome, uh, bigger than yourself kind of feeling on the water. You're a part of this co cool little group and, uh, and, and the equipment then comes and you're like, man, this is awesome. So just kind of coming off the top of my head, just thinking about stuff uh, yesterday and today, thinking about all the brands, but hope you enjoyed this video, <laughs> my little my little rant. Uh, but yeah, and if you are interested in trying out any Duotone equipment, please look us up. We're gonna be out there, hopefully, fingers crossed, next Friday. Oh my God, <laughs> so close. We're gonna be out there next Friday and we'll be able to get some of you out on these awesome boards and kites, trying them out for your first time, or maybe trying to figure out what you want to get into. And I can always help out with any questions you have about any of these products. And uh, also just provide a good smile and a good time on the water. So everybody have a great weekend. Uh, enjoy your time. I know things are starting to open up, so get excited about that. And we will see you back here on Monday. Happy guiding, everybody. Hey everybody, Chip Ripperson here. If you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. That way you'll be notified every time we post new videos like this one. And if you want to see more videos that are already on the channel, be sure to click right here for more of our pro rider interviews, gear reviews, and more vlog posts. Happy kiting, everybody. Ew!